Hi folks, welcome to Park Plus Joke Car App. 2023 is behind us and we saw quite a lot of action in the Indian car bazaar with all the new launches and the same excitement is likely to continue even in 2024 as we have a long calendar waiting for us when it comes to new car launches in the Indian car bazaar. Here are our top 10 picks what you can expect and the most important launches of 2024. Let's have a look. We saw the new Maruti Suzuki Swift being unveiled in Japan last year or is key testing in India Joro Shoro se ho rahi hai. Expected to hit the road in the first half of 2024, it is likely to come with a new Z Series 1.2 liter 3 cylinder petrol engine along with more features we recently saw on latest Maruti cars, like the new 9 inch Smart Play Pro Plus touchscreen infotainment system, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless charger and head up display, among others. When there will be a Swift, a desire will definitely follow. Yes, Swift ke saath hi saath expect a desire to be launched as well with the same engine and creature comforts on offer. The Maruti Suzuki Espresso 2 is due for an update and it is expected to go on sale in the third quarter of 2024. Lekin changes yaha pe will be limited to just cosmetic updates. And finally, Maruti Suzuki will also enter the burgeoning electric vehicle market with the EVX electric SUV which is expected to go on sale in the second half of 2024. Maruti ki pehli EV mein aapko 60 kWh ki battery pack milegi offering a clean range of over 550 km. Thanks to Suzuki or Toyota's bhai chara, is saal hume phir se Maruti ki ek gari per Toyota ka logo dekhne ke liye milega. The Maruti Suzuki Franks is likely to be supplied to Toyota in November 2023. We got an update that Toyota has registered the teaser name for this cross-batched version. The Hyundai Creta facelift is also going on sale in India on January 16 and while mechanically it is expected to remain unchanged, Samne ke design nahi hone wali hai, jise specifically Indian market ke liye design kiya gaya hai. And it will come with new level 2 ADAS features, 360 degree camera view and digital instrument cluster. The Alcazar recently received a minor update in its front design and this year it is expected to be updated with level 2 ADAS features as well. The new Hyundai Tucson facelift made its global debut last year and it's expected to hit the road around August this year. Changes will be limited to minor cosmetic updates in the front end and the Korean brand will continue to offer it with both petrol and diesel engine options. We first saw the new Hyundai Ioniq 6 at the 2023 Auto Expo and just like the Ioniq 5, we expect it to be locally assembled in India and to be positioned as the brand flagship model. It is expected to feature the same 72.6 kWh battery pack from the Ionic 5 powering the rear wheels. Kia Sonnet facelift is Salki sabse pehli launch hai mass car market mein and it comes with new looks and more features like level 1 ADAS features, blind spot monitor, digital instrument cluster and better knee room at the rear along with more under thigh support. A detailed review of the Kia Sonnet facelift is live on the Park Plus app and on the YouTube handle so you can go and check it out there. The refreshed 4th gen Kia Carnival has been unveiled in the global markets and it is expected to land to our shores in April 2024. The front and rear design are new and modern, while the global spec model showcases an upgraded dashboard design with a curved single-piece screen setup integrating the 10.25-inch touchscreen and a digital instrument cluster along with power adjustment for all seats and massage and ventilation features. In the global market, the Kia Carnival comes with multiple engine choices but in India, expect a tried and tested 2.2-litre diesel engine to continue. The Tata Punch is due for a facelift as well and we expect to see changes in both exterior and interior design which can be found in Tata Nexon se milte julte ho sakte hain, giving it the family look. In terms of features, expect to see a larger touchscreen with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto along with a new sunroof. The Tata Punch EV has been undergoing testing for a long time. Likely to hit the road in 2024, it will feature Nexon.EV-like styling cues. Tata says that the Punch EV will give a range of 325km and will be offered with two battery pack options. On the inside, the Tata Punch.EV gets new design for the dashboard and central console along with more features like a 10.25-inch touchscreen infotainment system that we recently saw in the Nexon, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto ventilated seats, auto dimming rear view mirror, wireless charging and vehicle to low charging. The Tata Curve will be offered in both petrol and electric avatars. This coupe SUV is expected to feature several similar features as Tata's recently updated models, including a large touchscreen infotainment, touch-based climate control, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and ADAS features among others. The Curve EV is expected to offer multiple battery pack options, delivering a claimed range of over 500 km, while the petrol version with similar features and styling is expected to rival the likes of compact SUVs like the Hyundai Creta, Kia Seltos, Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara, and Honda Elevate. An electric version is soon likely to join the Harrier range. The Tata Harrier EV will boast similar design and features seen on the ICE SUV and will offer multiple electric powertrain options with range exceeding 500 kilometers. 
Tata will offer an all-wheel drive option for the Harrier EV as well. Perhaps the most anticipated launch of 2024 will be the Mahindra Thar 5 door. Thar lovers ki intzar finally is sal khatam hogi with a larger wheelbase compared to the three door model. It will also boast additional features including a larger touchscreen infotainment system and a sunroof. The five door Thar is expected to be offered with both petrol and diesel engine options with availability of both four wheel drive and rear wheel drive options. The Mahindra XUV300 is due for a major update since its launch. The subcompact SUV will receive revamped front and rear ends. Mahindra could also introduce the updated XUV300 with ADAS features. The electric derivative of the XUV700 will make its debut this year as the XUV E8. This electric SUV might feature two battery pack options ranging from 60 kWh to 80 kWh with the availability of dual motor all-wheel drive train option as well. It's expected to have a clean range of 450 km. Launched in 2021, the Skoda Kushak is due for a midlife update. While there could be minor cosmetic enhancements, features may hum teak tak updates they accept hain, like addition of ADAS features and premium sound system. Just like the Kushak, expect to see similar cosmetic and feature updates even in the Slavia. Skoda's first electric vehicle built on the Volkswagen Group's MEB platform is expected to go on sale in February this year. Globally, it comes with a range of battery pack options and motor options. But in India, we expect to get a 77 kWh battery pack producing 300 brake horsepower and delivering over 500 km of claimed range on a full charge. The Volkswagen Tiguan is a sister unit to the Skoda Kushak, so expect similar cosmetic updates along with features such as a ventilated seats or level 2 ADAS. Volkswagen Virtus V Skoda Slavia ki sister model hai, design changes yahan bhi cosmetic hi hai and features updates are similar including level 2 ADAS. Volkswagen ID4 V Skoda Enyaq ki sister EV hogi with a sexier and more futuristic design. Underpinned by the MEB platform, it gets a 77 kWh battery unit delivering over 500 km of claimed range. The new Jeep Wrangler went on sale in the global markets in April 2023 and is expected to hit the Indian roads one year later in April 2024. It will boast a new design for the 7 flat grille and will come with modern features like bigger 12.3 inch touchscreen wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, 360 degree camera view, 12 way powered front seats, and a semi digital instrument cluster. Bird is likely to feature the same 2 litre petrol engine under its hood with a hybrid setup and hardcore 4x4 gears. Renault recently unveiled the third generation Duster and it is expected to make its way to India in 2024. It is expected to feature the 1.2 litre turbo petrol engine offering both front wheel drive and all wheel drive options along with a host of modern features. The Renault Triber 2 is likely to source the 98 brake horsepower 1 litre turbo petrol engine from the Kyger this year. The updated powertrain is expected to come with both manual transmission and the automatic continuously variable transmission or CVT gearbox options. The fourth generation Nissan x which was unveiled in 2023 is expected to be launched in India in 2024. It is likely to be imported through the completely built unit or CBU route and will become Nissan's flagship offering in India. The Nissan Magnite has seen just minor updates since its launch and a major facelift is due this year. Expected changes for the facelifted Magnite include design tweaks and additions of a few extra features. And last but not the least, it's the French model that will give tucker to the upcoming Tata Curve. In 2023, Spy Shot surfaced online showcasing a new C20 car tailored for the Indian market. This model, resembling a coupe SUV derived design from the C3 hatchback, is likely to take a premium and stylish position above the C3 Aircross. It is expected to retain the same 1.2 litre turbo petrol motor and will likely offer both manual and automatic transmission options. So which are the cars you are excited about and are you planning to buy any of them? Let us know in the comments below and keep following Park Plus your car app for all the updates in the Indian Car Bazaar. I am Shubham Parashar and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!